Hello all, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing a practical example demonstrating an actual weaponized attack with ransomware as the payload. This will be utilizing the RDP configuration file as initial access. If you haven't watched the previous video, which I have explained more about how remoting into a Windows server could get you compromised and the overall risk of RDP configuration files, please watch the video first as it will provide the necessary introduction. Alright, before we begin, here is a quick shout out to Poo Poo Land 5150 for the most recent donation. Thanks a lot, I really appreciate it. It. Happy New Year to you buddy. Now let's get started. This is Malayan. He is a Windows security engineer and he is using his computer right now. Look at these beautiful photos in his pictures document. It would be such a waste if these photos were to get encrypted by a ransomware. Upon checking his email, he discovered that there is a job offer for him and it says that there will be a practical challenge as part of the hiring process. He has to RDP into a remote Windows server and perform system hardening to demonstrate his skill set. Very interesting. The RDP configuration file and the credentials that will be used to connect to the remote Windows server are provided in the email. Oh dear, it seems that this is a highly in demand job as there are many applicants, and Malayan should get started with the challenge as soon as possible. Malayan wants this job very badly and given the urgency highlighted in the email, he quickly proceeded to download the RDP configuration file. He authenticates to the remote Windows server with the TS user credentials provided. After the successful connection into the remote server, he opens up CMD, wanted to explore around the system. Oh dear, what is this? Why are there prompts appearing? Malayan should be safe, right? I mean, what can go wrong? He RDP into a remote Windows server, which should be totally isolated from his own Windows machine. There should be no way that he could get compromised just by connecting to a remote Windows server. Malayan quickly disconnected from the remote Windows server. He is unsure of what to do and he decided to log out first and go grab some food. Upon returning to his computer, he then decides to log back in. Oh dear, something is wrong with his computer. Where is this command prompt coming from? It has happened. Poor Malayan has been hit by a ransomware attack. His pictures are all encrypted now. Looking at raw bytes of the file, we can see that even the headers for image files are jumbled up. There is now a readme text file on his documents folder. Oh, thankfully, it seems that if he were to like the video and subscribe to the channel, he can get his files back. Awesome. Guys, please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. I really appreciate it. If you were to watch the first RDP video, which I have mentioned, you would have guessed it correctly what happened behind the scenes. Let's go through now what happened. On the remote Windows server over here, there is a payload in the TS user auto startup folder. The payload will basically enumerate all of the users in the TS client C directory. And if it has permission, it will copy the console app over to the auto startup folder of the victim. The TS client C drive is basically Malayan's local Windows computer exposed to the remote Windows server. This occurred because the RDP configuration file was configured to map and expose the local Windows drives to the remote Windows server. And once that happens, if Malayan were to restart his computer or re-log into his Windows session, the console app, which is the ransomware that has already been copied over to his auto start folder, will execute. The ransomware is pretty cool. It has hybrid encryption, just a real ransomware. It will AES encrypt the files for efficiency and then RSA encrypt the AES key for security. This was created with the help of ChatGPT. I made a video on this back in 2023. 
do check it out if it interests you. Alright all, I hope you all have enjoyed the video. All of the video references that I have shown and mentioned will be provided in the video's description, so be sure to check them out. If you are interested in learning about hacking Windows Active Directory and have a feel of how it looks like, there is a playlist available on my YouTube channel over here. It has 4 episodes which showcases the common scenarios you might encounter and what kind of tools you can use to test a Windows Domain Active Directory environment. And here is a quick shout out to everyone who has donated to the channel so far. Thanks all, I really appreciate the support. Once again, please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it. I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye.